Hey everybody, welcome to Downhill Backyard Gardening. I've been waiting for this day for a long time, a lot of months. And we're going to do a harvest. There's a lot out here that I can actually harvest in a video, and I want to do that. So normally when I do harvest videos, it's, um, hey, I'm going to harvest this, or I'm going to harvest that. I'm going to harvest a whole bunch of vegetables right now because so much is ready to come out. And I want you all to join me on this ride. So hey, sit back, relax, here we go. Let's go harvest. <laughs> Okay, so the first thing we're going to harvest are these beans. Now, look at how high these are. They're all the way at the top. But there are beans all through here. And I am excited to get these off and to keep them going. Because remember, with beans, you want to harvest a lot all the time to keep the plant producing. Once the plant feels that it's already produced enough, it's going to stop. So the trick to keep your beans going is to constantly keep harvesting. Now, I've probably let these get a little too long but I wanted to do a video where I show everything. So here we go. Okay, so these are a Brewhilde bean and they're a beautiful purple. I mean, I mean, look at that, just so pretty. They're pretty long. Uh, I'm going to cook these just like you would green beans and they grow really fast. I think these have only been planted for maybe two yes, months. I planted these March 1st, March 2nd, right in that range. Right when our last expected last frost date hit is when I threw a lot of seeds out here in the garden. These were one of those. So you can see how fast they grow. It's two months and I have all of those on my first harvest off of those off of those plants. So we're off to a good start. I'm excited for this. We're gonna go over this way now. Okay, so we're over here in the peas area. And as you can see, the peas are starting to lean because there's so much weight on these plants. So it's time to get these off. Now, the one thing about peas that I like is I love small peas. The young baby tender peas, those are what I love. And peas to me in the garden, it's like a snack. I always come through here, grab some of the pods off and eat them as I'm doing what I'm doing in the garden. So peas are great, but I think I got a little rodent damage down here. So we're gonna get all the peas off of here. Here we go. Now peas are super simple. You just grab them, pop them off, and there you go. Harvesting the peas is really simple. I did leave a lot because I've got a lot in different stages of maturity here on these plants and I want them to continue producing. So I left a whole lot. I didn't take as many as I thought I would, but that's okay. It's not a big deal. And then I want to show you the rodent damage. As you can see, something has definitely been in here chewing on these pods. And I got a second rat yesterday, so definitely have some rat issues in this area in this garden. This is the first year I've really had to deal with rats. So um, this is kind of new to me. I'm not really happy about it, but it is what it is. And uh, we'll just deal with them the way I deal with them. Okay, so check this out right here. Look at the peas in there. Look at that. It does not get any better than that right there. That is so good. And talk about a good, healthy, organic snack while you're in the garden. It doesn't get any better than that. I also harvested some peppers off this plant. Again, a thing to remember about peppers is you can harvest them at any stage of growth. You can use a pepper at any stage of its life. So if you want to continue keeping those plants producing flowers and producing fruit, peppers, you know, whatever you're growing, continue harvesting. That's why I always say harvest hard come out you see something harvest it you don't always have to wait for like one big day to go harvest everything harvest hard keep harvesting as you're in the garden as you're looking for pests as you're adjusting plants or tomato trellises just constantly harvest okay here's an example of a pepper plant that i was not planning on harvesting anything from today but we've got peppers that are ready we can i can totally use this in something 
See that three yellow bell peppers that I wasn't planning on doing anything with harvesting wise, but they are totally ready to be used. Remember when you're harvesting your peppers, you're telling the plant, hey, you gotta, I gotta produce more, I gotta produce more, I gotta produce more. So it will continue producing. So harvest when you can. Let's go ahead and get some of these serranos off of here. And see, I'm still gonna leave some, like this one's not ready. I could totally harvest that if I wanted to, but I'm gonna let it grow a little longer. I'm really excited to harvest this next crop. These survived the winter. Now, one thing about carrots is you wanna plant them in the fall so they can grow through the winter. The cold makes the carrot actually reserve and, and hold on to its sugars. So these carrots that I'm about to harvest right here should be big, should be, let's see and they should be very, very, very good tasting. So here we go. Okay, so these are the carrots I'm about to harvest and you can tell the difference in how big they are compared to these. These I planted March 1st and look how much growth they've already come up with, amazing. Also, those are garlics that I also planted March 1st, but we're gonna focus right here on these carrots. All right, look at how big that, that base is. So. <laughs> Yeah, look at that. Already off to a great start right there. Okay, it's not bad. Got some insect damage right there. Big on wire worm. Look at that, really good carrot. <laughs> Look at that, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Look at the size of that one. Yes. Holy <laughs> Look at that, y'all. Oh my word. Good night. A little small one, we good with that. Another small one there. Okay, and these are bums right there. All right, now I am absolutely beside myself happy with these carrots. These are the biggest carrots that I've ever grown. I am so excited. Now, let me show you right here on this one you can see probably had a wire worm in there those little punks man but you can still harvest this i mean we can still eat this carrot just cut that section off and it's fine i've, I've been done i've been doing this for quite a while but that right there bothers me i hate insects i hate the pests hate hate the pests but it's just part of it but look at that i man look at that beside my hand look how big that thing is all right, so seriously, that is the best carrot harvest that I've ever done. And there's not even a lot of them, but the size of these carrots are like picture perfect. So <laughs> I love it. Okay, so we're gonna come right over here. Now I planted these beans as a way of one, just getting rid of old beans, and two, hoping the beans would take off. Now these are the yellow beans, the yellow like wax beans. And I love these things, but I actually didn't even notice these beans were growing until last night because as I walk by, which I'll show you right here, it doesn't look from the top like anything is growing. But when I was searching the squashes to see if how many squashes were growing, <laughs> you should see all the beans that are growing. Okay, so looking at these from the top, like I just showed you, you really can't see anything. But when you start moving these around, look at all the beans in here. I mean, th this is th these are completely loaded down with these wax beans, these yellow wax beans. So it's time to get them. All right, y'all, so I just harvested all these wax, yellow wax beans. Look at that. 
pretty happy with that. And especially since I didn't even notice that they were growing until I moved the plants apart. So, you know, I'm always saying, get in your garden, always be looking for stuff. But there's an example, I completely overlooked this entire area until I was looking for squash. <laughs> so we got one more thing to harvest and I am very hopeful and excited for this next one. Okay, so for this final crop that we're going to harvest, the main reason I wanna try harvesting and seeing what's in these buckets is one, because of this. All the plants have died in these potatoes. But two, because there's a potato coming up out of the ground right there. I'm very apprehensive, I'm very hopeful. When I start digging into these two containers, there's going to be potatoes. Now, I don't, I'm not expecting them to be huge at all, They've only actually been in here for about 70 days, maybe 80, because I planted them a little bit before the last frost date here. So um, we'll see. This could be a complete waste of time or might get a bunch of potatoes. So here we go. So we're just going to start right back here where this first potato is coming up at. We got one. We knew that was going to be there. <laughs> oh, look at that, guys. <laughs> look at that one right there. That's a good sized potato, I'm quite happy. These are Yukon Golds that are in this bucket here. Let's pull those out. Let's just start digging. Look at this, y'all, starting to get them. Look, there's one, there's a rock. <laughs> I feel like Charlie Brown right there. Another one right there. Something was eating on this one. Look at that, y'all. Something's been in here devouring that potato. That is so gross. Look at that, two more. Now, as I'm digging, I'm not seeing any grubs. A little baby potato. Another one. Oh, look at that. There we go. A couple more. Oh, look at that. Someone's devouring that one right there. Ugh, so gross. Okay, y'all, these are containers. I did not add worms to these containers. And look at that, there's worms in here somehow. And these do not sit on the ground. So I don't know how the worms got up here, but hey, you want worms in your soil. Okay, everybody, I am not gonna complain about, what is that, 12, 12 potatoes? I only planted four seed potatoes, so pretty good. I'm, I'm happy. I'm not happy with the damage done by something in this soil, and I could not find it. I did not find any grubs, but the soil is good. We know it'll grow, and these are going to be perfect for when I put the sweet potatoes in. The sweet potato slips in here, so I'm excited for that. But we're going to harvest these Northland red potatoes and see what we got. That is so pretty. Look at these. Yep. Something got a hold of that one too. Look at that. Ugh. Makes me so mad. You know what, y'all? I think these are the seed potatoes that I planted. Because I'm not seeing any animal life in here. No grubs, no wire worms. I think these are the seed potatoes. If you all have experience with potatoes, 
and that's what this is, please drop it in the comments. I would love to know that I'm right about that. But I'm pretty sure these are the seed potatoes that I planted. And this one had a lot of babies on it. I'm almost tempted to put, the, you know what? All right, I cannot complain about that. Not one bit. Look at all those. <laughs> all right, so let's tally everything up and just see how big of a harvest I just had the beginning of May for the first true harvest of this year, of 2023. All right, everybody, so seriously, check out this first harvest. So potatoes, red potatoes, these are jalapenos. These are from the jalapeno bushes that I planted from seed. Two weeks ago, or a week ago, I think it was, I planted, I harvested three that were maybe about that big off those plants. And now look, in a week, I've tripled that initial harvest. So pick your peppers, pick your peppers, trust me, harvest them. A lot of yellow wax beans, these purple Bruhilde beans, the peas, these carrots that I am so excited about, because I mean, look at that thing <laughs> and then some random peppers that I wasn't even expecting to harvest but needed to start taking those off those plants so that's so, all I got for this video I hope you all enjoyed this video as much as I did because this shows you you can start harvesting plants and fruits and crops two months after you start planting the seeds so for this zone zone 9a where I am north of Houston I got all these seeds out in the ground, except for the carrots, these were last year. But all of these were planted March 1st. Today we're in the first week of May, and look at all this already. And we're not even talking about everything else I got going. So I can't be more excited for this, and I hope this inspires everyone, just to, when you're able to get your seeds in the ground, get them in the ground, immediately. Get it going. Start prepping and be ready to rock and roll when you can plant your seeds. Hope everyone has a great day. Take care. God bless. Continue to shine bright and harvest hard. And I'll talk to you all again real soon.